Hello again guys, Andrew here and we are back today with the part 2 of Lead Sleep tutorial for beginners. Uh, now, in my first video, this is the second video, part 2, so in my first video we already covered all uh, the general features and also all the traffic features. So how can you advertise on Lead Sleep and how can you drive traffic to your URL or URLs. Okay, in today's video we are going to cover the tracker features. Before we get into that, please make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that like button and I'd appreciate it a lot if you shared this video. Okay, so uh, tracker, link tracker, track app. It used to be called the real tracker, but apparently Leads Leap changed it recently. Anyway, so what is a track link? A track link is a link that contains your initial URL but it doesn't look the same and what this does basically tracks the traffic driven to your URL that you converted as a track link, track app. Okay, And this is very very important guys because when you ad advertise a link, a business, a product, a service or whatever you want to advertise online, uh, it's best that you know what kind of traffic are you getting, if it is real, if it is unique, um, from where are you getting it and this is very important for your analytics because if your product, if you're spending money advertising your product on let's say Facebook and Instagram, the track link can help you uh, determine what kind of traffic you are getting specifically from Facebook, specifically from, from Instagram, specifically from other platforms. And then you will know which of these platforms is giving you more traffic and better results and thus you will know where to invest more and where to cut your investment because if you are investing somewhere where you get 50% real traffic and uh, you don't sell anything, then it's a waste of money, right? So that's why tracking your uh, traffic to your URL is very, very important. Leadslip, I repeat again, that's why I love it. Leadslip offers you all the necessary tools to do so for free, 100% free. So let's see how uh, you can create a track link. Suppose I already have a URL that I want to uh, track the traffic to. Okay, so we just click on track links. Here you should enter the URL you want to advertise. I already had it copied, so I'm pasting, I'm pasting it here. And then you just click on add now. Okay, just wait a second until it loads. And there you go. This is the URL that you entered on the track link uh, feature. Okay, now here you can put is this command here to edit your details. Here you can put the name of the URL so uh, it will be easy for you to refer to it, to find it. So I know what I'm promoting here, so I'm just enter the initials. Okay, this is the URL. Okay, so if you want, you can disable cloaking. By default, cloaking is enabled. Uh, cloaking hides your URL when a, visitor's, uh, when a visitor clicks on your ad and visits your site. For example, if on, on a tab bar, if here says leadslip.com, then I know where I am. But if your URL is cloaked, it won't look as leadslip.com, the formal domain of the site but it will look like this so uh, sorry it will be clocked it will be hidden okay but this is not too very important all right here you can put oh this is a name that you can enter to your url but this is a feature only for pro members okay so i'm not gonna go into that and here you can uh, put some keywords some tags because Leadslip runs your advertising in thousands of traffic exchange sites. So you are getting your traffic not only from Leadslip, but also from a lot of other sites outside Leadslip platforms. So be sure to put 
whatever tag that is related to the URL that you are promoting. For example, if you're selling clothes, you gotta put clothes, designs, t-shirts, or whatever tag comes into mind. Okay? Now, uh, this part here, I've never used it, but this is basically simple. When uh, you create a subject here, an, a body with some text, with something that attracts attention. And what this does is uh, when a visitor clicks on your link, on this link that you are creating, before he or she is redirected to the site, okay, he or she will encounter a, a window where will be displayed this uh, option here, this teaser, okay? So it's like if I go to click on a link, for example, this one that I just created, if I click here, it will take me directly to the site that I want to promote, right? But if I enable this feature, before I go to that site, uh, another window will display this message here. So make sure to put something attractive. You can also uh, put a link in here if you want, so others uh, can click on that link directly, directly before they go to the initial link that they clicked, okay? And you can set also a duration for how long do you want the visitor to see this teaser before it goes to the URL. Okay, up until 10 seconds. Alright, so next feature is insert an add bar. Now, uh, I'm just going to show you how it looks because is the third feature of today's video, add bars, that we are going to cover moments later. So let me just insert this add bar that I created uh, long ago. Okay, uh, monetize. Now, what this is, when someone clicks on this link, monetize, and we can put it 10 seconds, uh, what, what this does is, when a visitor, after clicking your URL, this one that you are creating, if it stays longer than 10 seconds, then on the left side or on the right, right side, depending what you choose, a vertical uh, bar, wide bar, will appear containing your PPC ads from Leadslip. And when someone clicks on them, you earn one PPC click and also advertising credits. Alright? Just like Google Ads on your website. Okay, so let me just show you, just, uh, show you sorry, what this means. Monetize, yes, 10 seconds. Okay, uh, footer tab position left or right, I just explained it. And responsive mode, mode, this is, you can put it on or off for mobile designs as well. So when someone is on mobile device, this, uh, this footer tab will appear with your uh, ads, PPC ads to be exact. Okay, and then you can just save it. That's it, simple as that. Now, let's see how it looks, okay? So, if a visitor clicks on it, so this is the add bar that I said we are going to cover it in a few moments later, okay? I'm going to explain it later. This is the URL, I didn't enable the teaser, and this is the bar that comes up, the window, the little window that comes up after 10 seconds. As you can see here, I already spent 15 seconds here. And if a visitor clicks on one of these ads, um, I'm gonna earn one PPC click and also uh, advertising credits accordingly. All right? So this is it, guys. And, and in order to uh, check your statistics, you just click on this button here, show detailed statistics. And it will show from which country, the source. Now, why is this unknown? Let me show you what happens when you create the track link on Leadslib. Now, you created this link. So, what you're gonna do is you wanna promote this generated link, not your initial URL, all right? Because you uh, connected it to the real tracker from Leadslib in order to track your traffic. So, is this the link that you gotta promote? 
So if you click here copy, this is what happens. Leadslip allows you to enter a slash and whatever name comes to mind fulfilling these criteria here. For example, if you are if you are advertising this URL on Facebook, then you uh, type slash then Facebook. Okay. And what this does is it tracks the traffic from Facebook specifically and then it lets you know how, uh, what kind of traffic did you get from that uh, particular advertising platform. So here won't be any more unknown, but here will be Facebook. So let me just so, show you a track link that I'm advertising currently, what that means here. So if you click on statistics, okay, just a second, there you go. Okay, there you go. Here you can see all these names. These are all the resources that all the platforms and softwares that I'm promoting this particular link. All right. And as you can see, monster traffic at bar W, this is word profit affiliate link blaster, etc, etc. And as you can see, I can, I, 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 this is a pretty good analytics for my traffic, right? So only these three uh, first software and platforms are giving me a lot of traffic. These other ones, not so much. So that's why I'm not working on this on a daily basis, okay? Instead, in these first three, I don't have to work on a daily basis. That's why I'm sticking with only these three. I'm promoting this URL strongly only and more only on these three platforms. Okay, so this is very, very effective, very efficient. You will know if you are spending money on advertising, if you are wasting them or if you are making a good investment. Okay, so make sure if you use Leadslip before advertising any URL, make sure to track it to convert it to a track link so you will know what traffic are you getting and is it worth it or not so this is it for track links guys anyways if i'm forgetting to mention something like i said in the first video leads leap has a helping page for every feature so this is the helping page for track links okay so let's jump to the next feature immediately to add bars since we mentioned it here so how to create that add bar that appeared up here in red or in blue, depending what color you choose. It's quite simple. Click on add bar, add a new bar. Now add bars are connected with track links. So here you should put a URL that you want to advertise besides the uh, initial URL that you put on your track links because this is just I repeat this is just an add bar it would show a small add bar here with a different color and some text that you are going to create here so name I don't know the same that I used before okay is the same URL if I didn't copy anything else okay that's it add some text okay you can animate the bar this is a recent feature I don't use it and again you can put tags related to the URL I don't suggest you advertise the same URL it doesn't make sense so this text must be sorry about this this text must be related to the this URL that you are promoting and then you click on save okay change is saved and then when you go to track links and you want to insert an add bar sorry here you might choose as well another color, blue or whatever you want, okay? And when you want to choose a net bar, you can choose one of these. This is the one that I just created, okay? And when someone clicks on your track links, this bar will appear. Oh, I'm sorry, I did, I did not click on, uh, on yes, on uh, save, sorry. So you just have to click on save after choosing which add bar you want to uh, display change is saved and then when someone clicks, the add bar will appear just like i showed you seconds earlier okay just like this do you know the secret of learning online 
and if I click on this, the visitor will be redirected on this URL. All right, simple as that. So this is also for the ad bars. Again, this is the helping page. You can refer to it. So let's jump to rotators. Now rotators, uh, it's obvious. You just uh, put some link into a rotator, which will be represented by one particular link and you can promote that one link and whenever a visitor clicks on that one link this rotator randomly will uh, display one of your links that you put here okay so this as you can see add track links so rotators are connected also with track links you cannot put another url or uh, an, affi an affiliate link if you haven't tracked it already here. Uh, what Leadslib does make it makes it very very simple for you. Actually, you don't need to copy it. You just need to click on it, and Leadslib recognizes automatically all the links that you already put on the track links feature. Okay, and this is the link I created now okay so what these numbers are these are weight the importance of this url in this rotator so for example let me choose three or four urls one two three four and let me put different weights okay so what this means is that when someone clicks on the link of this rotator this one that was just generated okay the rotator automatically will display to that visitor one of this link but the probability that this one will be displayed more frequently is higher because of the weight so the higher the weight the higher the frequency of displaying this link okay again there you go the helping page for this a feature okay so i just put one two three four links when someone clicks on it one of these links will be displayed but the probability is higher that will be displayed the link with the highest weight okay and again the bar here all right let's click again see if it displays another side another link yes it does okay so you get the meaning uh, you can put as much links as you want in here depending on how many track links you have and you can put different ways depending on what you want to be shown uh, to be shown more frequently all right so again if you click copy here you can put a name so you will track exactly where the traffic is coming from and this is it guys you can create different rotators with different other track links but remember before you create a rotator rotator sorry <laughs> you just make sure that you create the track links of that url first okay the track app link all right just like just like i did on this video okay so um i'm gonna leave it with this on this video guys because in the future videos we are going to cover more important features and probably they uh, those videos will be longer or maybe i will uh, record more videos in order not to prolong too much one video okay so thank you again and again if you have any questions you can leave it in the comments down below uh, I will also leave my referral link from Leadslib, so I strongly suggest you join it, it's very very effective, okay, as you can see everything is for free, alright, so you can use every tool for free, don't worry about that, and like I said, there is a helping page for every feature if you get lost, or if you get overwhelmed by all this uh, information and all these tools okay okay guys so thanks again and don't forget to subscribe to my channel also don't forget to hit that notification bell so you won't miss any future videos thanks again and see you in the next one cheers